ihastuvat siihen Elenaan sitten. Se perhe, mikä oli nähnyt sen kuvan siellä lehissä. Americans read about the horrible conditions in the Finnish orphanages and wanted to adopt children from Finland. The social authorities in Lapland had a plan. At the same time that my mother got better and got out of the hospital and was reunited with the other children and they became a family again, the social authorities in Lapland had put Anneli into a new family and Helena and I were on our way to America. First off, Helena was the one that the, the family in America wanted to adopt. Ne olisi vaan halunnut adoptoida Helenan. Yeah. Ne he ei saaneet adoptoida vaan yhtä, mm. koska he olivat sisaruksia. Mm. Ja heidän piti ottaa sen takia, on paljon, että veli on pidetty huonompana, niin kuin me kuullaan ainakin, että mm. häntä on pidetty huonompana. Although my father Oxley has said to the family many times that he never accepted the adoption, there still is the paperwork with his signature on it. And so it has caused conflict and confusion between the family. Isä väitti, se väitti ihan kuolemaan saakka, ihan viimeisen saakka sanoi, että hän ei ole ikinä suostumusta antanut, mutta miten se siinä, kun se, se nimikin oli yhdessä paperissa, kun Heikki näytti. No se oli, kun no, tuli parani ja äiti tervehtyi ja minä muistan, että meitä tuli kolme kotia ja sitten tuota, niin vanhemmat sisarukset jäi opiskele, opiskelemaan sinne ja sitten näitä nuorempia asti vietiin ympäri maailmaa. Two children of calamity are coming to San Diego to begin a new life as American citizens. Two doll-like blonde children, both with China blue eyes, came from Finland yesterday. But if Helena, five, or Gary, four, were frightened or homesick, they bore it with steady calmness that was more moving than tears. There was lovely little Helena hugging the doll sent by her American sponsor. My first vision of America is waking up on, like this in a child's chair. And I had a, a belt strapped around me. They can say mama and daddy, said Mrs. Heffern. We'll just give them plenty of love and that should be enough. You know, I was only used to finish food, basically potatoes. And she had the two sisters watch. And, you know, she beat me and tied me into the chair. And then I fell off to the side. We've waited for nearly a year now, but they've waited all their lives, Mrs. Heffern said yesterday. We're all ready for them now. And then, you know, and I was throwing up and then she pulled the chair back up. And it's a little child's chair, you know, with a little tray. And then she put the vomit on the tray and gave me a spoon and made me eat it. I have learned to say a few things in Finnish, like, are you hungry? Onko sinulla nälkä? she added. We're going to call the little boy Gary Matthew. Gary is an old family name, and Matthew means gift of God, you know. Gift of God seems to be true for us. In Finland, life went on as a normal family. The Hefferns sent photos to Finland, but all of the letters that were sent to America from Finland came back to Finland unopened. So we were completely isolated from our family. My pass was denied, and I was told that uh, Finnish people were liars, greedy, and evil. I coped 
with the trauma that my mother had given me by going to see a psychiatrist, and that lasted for many years. Obviously, I, I went into drugs and all that, but that chapter of my life has been closed for many, many years. Let's kick some ass. Fiddle. Otis. Hey, Gary. Hey, man. Nice to meet you, man. Gary. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, hey, man, have a good one. would do but what she would make me do first was I had to get down and I would have to walk like this this is the way I would walk back and forth on that tile floor no I, it, the hands had to be up and if the hands fell down or if I was trying to go like this then I would she would be you know with a like a, a meter yardstick is what we call them and just whew, I didn't speak the language, so I couldn't deny anything. I was just, I, I no, no, hey, 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 you know? And this is very embarrassing. She would whip us and, until we bled, and then it wasn't a good beating unless you got blood. And it would happen two or three times a week. I, I can't remember if it was either Helena or me, but one of us had done something, and Marion had a big tub like this. She filled it with water, and she was just, hold our heads under the water. And, the, and there was one other time when I got into trouble at school, I told a girl, bad thing. Bam, bam, bam. And then my dad came home and she told him, and it was just like maybe a couple hours later, and he took me into the bedroom and he had his belt off, ready to, to, to beat me. And so I, you know, just pulled down my pants because I'm getting ready you know, here we go again. And he looked down and he saw my ass. And he was like, did your, did your mom already beat you? Have you already been whipped? I said, yeah. And, I mean, of course, there was blood. I mean, this was probably the closest moment I ever had with him. And I remember him kind of just looking at me in shock. And then he said, stand over here. And he took his belt and he just started beating on the bed, just hitting the bed. And he told me, scream every time I hit scream, hit, scream, and without him hitting me. He never knew about any of these beatings. Well, I'm sure there was some shame or, you know, that he was married to a monster that could actually do something like that. My American mother hated the fact that I found escape in music. I had like all these albums, like Blues Magoos, 13th Floor Elevators, about 50 albums. And they went in and they went to the fireplace and they broke all the records. Although they had me break the records and then they burned all the, all the covers. From San Diego, I moved north to Seattle and got married was working, got divorced. I am so honored to have that and just, uh, it reminds me of when I was a kid. We grew up in fear. So growing up was constantly looking over my shoulder, trying to be careful not to upset anything or anybody and, you know, just trying to get through. <laughs> 